This video will go over the installation and usage of the Alpha Laval component in VapePsych. To start, you should have two files. One is the zip file for the Alpha Laval component, and one is the license file. To access the files inside the zip file, we will need to make sure Windows is not going to block the file package. Select the zip file in your File Explorer window, but do not open it yet. Go to Properties, and under the Attributes section of the General tab, click or check the Unblock button. Press Apply, and now we can extract the files. After extracting, we can see a folder called Alpha Laval Component. We want to move this entire folder into the User Components in the VapePsych install path. Going back to the license file, rename this to license.lic and move it into the Alpha Laval component folder that was just placed into the user components folder. The Alpha Laval component should now appear on the heat exchanger components list as Alpha Laval PHX condenser or evaporator depending on the type of heat exchanger chosen. Right now, the condenser version of this component is being used. There are three tabs in the Edit Properties window of this component, Information, Component, and Test. The Information tab provides the plate range, R410A capacity, and R134A capacity for each combination of product and plate type. The Component tab is composed of three sections. Under Coils, we can choose the product type and the plate type, with four options available. We can enter in the number of plates and further specify the flow configuration. Under Secondary Fluid Parameters, we have three secondary fluid options, and we can enter the inlet temperature and mass flow rate of this fluid. Note that the mass concentration should be entered in as a percent value and mine the specified units for temperature and mass flow rate. Under Outlet State, the outlet subcooling temperature can be entered in degrees Celsius. The Test tab lets us view the refrigerant that the cycle is using. In order to change this refrigerant, go up to Edit, Edit Properties, Find System Refrigerant on the side, and choose a different refrigerant from the drop-down menu. Enter an inlet temperature and condensing temperature, both in degrees Celsius, as well as a mass flow rate in kilogram per second. Running a test gives us results for capacity, refrigerant pressure drop, and secondary fluid pressure drop. The evaporator mode of the Alpha Laval component is similar to the condenser mode, except it allows us to also enter in a subcooling temperature and an evaporating temperature. If you have any additional questions about using the Alpha Laval component, please contact Alpha Laval's customer service team at customerservice.usa at alphalaval.com. You can also contact us at support at optimizethermalsystems.com.